Oh, right, we're coming, right. So um, here's A and B, and I is the two by two identity. Work out these bits. Um, this, this appeared, the only place that this went wrong for anybody was uh, in that whole thing of, you know, adding numbers and stuff. So four times two, one, minus four, five, minus three, one, two, three, plus two times I. So let's write that as being two, zero, zero, two. And then we're just going through and, and doing each component at a time. So four times two is eight. Take away three. Can I do this one in one go? Yes. Take away three would be five. Add two would be seven. Four. Take away one is three. Plus zero is three. Minus 16. Minus another two is minus 18. Plus zero is minus 18. And 20. Take away three is 17. Plus two would give us 19, and that's the answer that we're expecting, isn't it? 7, 3, minus 18, 19. Good. Find the inverse. So the inverse um, of a 2 by 2. Remember what we do with this. A was 2, 1, minus 4, 5. So when we come to do the inverse of A, we're going we're gonna to switch the leading diagonals. We're going to change the sign of the other two diagonals. And we're going to divide by the determinant. And the determinant of A is 2 times 5 minus, minus 4 times 1. So it's 14. So we've got 1 over 14 times that. And uh, I, it would, your, your best leaving that in that form, not trying to take the, the fraction into all the terms. It's fine to leave it in front of it. It looks nicest. Now this is where it went wrong for a few people. In the, uh, a, B to the minus 1, or to the minus 1. Now actually quite a few of you got the right answer in not the most efficient way of doing it. Because quite a few people kind of did the, the whole sledgehammer method of working out the inverse of B, multiplying it by A, getting that answer, and finding the inverse of that product. And it's not the most efficient way of doing this, because um, one of the things that we know is that the, the inverse of A times B is the inverse of B times the inverse of A. So the inverse of all of this is the inverse of that bit times the inverse of that bit. So that's the first thing, that's, that's the easiest way into this question, is to recognise that. Remember, we've got written down a little rule that says inverse of that is inverse of B, inverse of A. So that's, we're using that fact to do it. Because B was given to you in the question. It's the matrix 3, 1, 2, 3. And the inverse of A, we've just worked out. So that's what they wanted you to do. So that's 1 over 14, and that's 3 times 5, plus 1 times 4 is 19. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. 10 plus 12, and minus 2 plus 6 gives us that. Have I not made any mistakes there, have I? That's the way to do it. So uh, can you see that that's a more efficient way of doing it than what I think all but one of you did, from what I remember, which was you worked out inverse of B first, and then you pre-multiplied it by A, and then you found the inverse of that result. That's quite a lot of steps for only three marks for doing it. So that was, that was what we intended. Okay.